So Canon are probably just on the cusp, I reckon, of figuring out a way to do that uh, and giving us the full frame capability. And that's something I'm excited about. I think even if it's another year or so, I think Canon are working on it. And, and not that I know, <laughs> I just think that they kind of have to be to be staying ahead of the game. And I would hope that that would be something that they can implement and the technology is there for them to keep great Canon color science to, you know, keep us away from more and aliasing going back to 5D2 and 5D3 days and to give us a camera that will give us full frame, you know, 4K. Um, it, and maybe this is something they're going to be reserving for the EOS R system. Um, who knows how they can do it onto an SD card. There's the processing in camera as well on a smaller camera body. The thing's going to be freaking hot. So I'm not sure how they're going to manage it, but let's hope that that can be something that we see coming up. And if it, if it isn't, then, you know, there's going to be more people going across to Sony as Sony increase um, and continue to build the technology around their cameras. So interesting days ahead on this system. like I said about the sensor on the full frame 4K, I think with the 30 megapixel sensor, if they're building the EOS R around this 30 megapixel sensor for the photography side, they're gonna to struggle to get full frame out of that and get it processed in camera because they've got 30 million or whatever it is, uh, 30 megapixels uh, to process. So, and I think they're gonna struggle in such a small body, the thing's gonna overheat and I don't think it's gonna be easily uh, able to continuously record. Canon are kind of the company that don't want to like do what Sony did where, and I know Canon, uh, there's been some overheating problems and stuff with cameras before from Canon, but um, certainly they don't want to release a camera that's going to record great for 25 minutes and then overheat. So if they've got some processing and some stuff that's going to be a problem, then they're not going to implement it and they're not going to give it to the consumer. So I think that's where the hold up is with the 4K is trying to process these 30 megapixels, downsample it in camera to get rid of the moraing and aliasing, which I know Sony, as I mentioned before, have done really well on the a7 III. Um, they've been able to manage to do it and you know it's a down sampled 6k you know full frame image into um, whatever it is like um, compressed into MPEGs but it's basically um, you know a full frame um, using the whole sensor so when you shoot it you're shooting it with the whole sensor and it's easy with lens selection and stuff like that but I think Canon have avoided it because of yeah the 30 megapixel sensor so I would like to see the next Canon EOS R with say a 22 or 23 megapixel sensor and yeah 4k full frame come on give us 60 and 4k give us 120 and full hd like let's do this like and and hopefully that's the direction of going and that would be more geared towards maybe a low light nighttime photography uh, or astrophotographer and a video shooter because I think they can pack that all into the one body and um, and have and have their premier 30, 30 megapixel EOS R which is this one and then maybe for a little bit extra because we're getting those extra features get something like a 1DX Mark II with that functionality now I don't know how they're going to put it all onto an SD card that's the problem so the two card slot I don't think we'll see it with a two card slot I think what we might see is with a bigger slot um, like the CFast 2.0 
I think that's one of the only ways that you can really open up and expand what a sensor can do and how the image can be processed that fast without too much heat is to get a car that can just chew up data and just like eat it. Um, that'll obviously up the price point, but yeah, I, this is all just hearsay. I've got no idea what they're going to do. Uh, I've got no idea what they're thinking, but yeah, I don't think the technology is there yet to kind of get those 30 megapixels down to a 4K image or 4K video file um, and, and you know, get it processed onto an SD card without overheating the camera. I just don't think the tech's there yet. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that.